hello and welcome to this advanced excel video in this video i'm going to show us how we can leverage the let filter vstack htac functions in a single cell array operation to filter append and sum all the transactions for the month of january 2020 and january 2021 let's get started i'm going to come to this data 2020 and of course i've got these six columns and then we have all the records for the month of Jan to December of 2020. And then for the 2021, we have these records. Okay. Now, the two tables are officially stored in an Excel table. I can come to the table design. I can see sales 2021 as the table name. And then for the data 2020, I can see sales 2020 as the name of the table. Let's go ahead and perform our calculation. I'm going to come to the calc worksheet. And in the cell A1, I'm going to type in e equals V stack function. It vertically stacks arrays into one array. So I'm going to press the tab key and then for the first argument, the array one, we're going to go ahead and extract all the headers from the sales 2020 table. So I'm going to type in sales 2020 and open the square bracket. I want to select the headers, double click on that, and then I can close the square bracket, close the bracket, press enter. Beautiful. So we can see we have all the names of the columns. Now, I'm going to go ahead and filter the transaction for the January 2020 only. So, I'm going to come back to the card and in the top cell, double click, get rid of this closing bracket and then put in the comma. And then for the array number two, I'm going to go ahead and use the amazing filter function. So, for the filter, I want to return an array. This is going to be all the columns in the sales 2020. So, I'm going to call it sales 2020 and then put in the comma. So, I'm going to, for the include argument, filter all the date column that is equal to the month of January. So I'm going to type in month function and then for the serial number, I'm going to call the sales 2020 and then I want to access inside the square brackets, the date column and then close the square bracket and then close the bracket. So I want to check whether this is equal to one representing January. So I'm going to go ahead and close the bracket for the filter and then close the bracket for the V stack and then press enter. Bam. So you can see we have all the records for the month of January 2020. Now, let's do the same thing for the 2021. So, to split this up, I'm going to come here, copy this array number two, control C, put in a comma, and then control V. So, I can replace this 2021 to 2020 to 2021. So, replace and then press enter. Bam. So, we have the 2020 and the 2021 for January only. Beautiful. Now, so we've been able to filter and append, and then we'll go ahead and calculate or perform the sum at the bottom so i'm going to scroll down now in the row number 40 we want to drop total in the cell and they want to calculate the sum of the sales amount column how do we do that i'm going to come to the top cell and then i'm going to come here now in order to make this easy i'm going to come to this cell and press alt enter to indent the code so i'm going to come here also to make it easy to understand alt enter and then after this comma i'm going to just press alt enter there we go. So I'm going to use what's called the let function that allows to store an intermediate step with a name. So I'm going to type in let function and then for the name one, I'm going to use a comma. And it's going to be the value that's going to be stored inside the name one. So amazing, quote in the comma. Now for the calculation, I'm going to use the v stack function that allows me again to stack array into one array. So press that. So I want to start for the array one. I want to start this A. So click on the A, put in a comma. And then for the array number two, I'm going to use the A start function that horizontally stacks arrays into one array. So press the tab key. And then for the array, I'm going to go ahead and type inside double quote total. So close the double quote and then close, 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 press enter, bam. So when I press control down arrow key, I can see I've got the total in the row number 40. Now in this case, we have the NA, NA, NA. I'm going to deal with that by using what's called double quote with nothing in between. So in the top cell, I'm going to come after this total, put in a comma. So I'm going to use double quote, just give me an empty string and double quote, double quote, and one more, press enter. Control down arrow key. Beautiful. So we've undoed all the NAs, which is amazing. Now, the final one is going to be where we want to perform the sum of all the values, the sales amount. So in the top cell, I'm going to come here. I'm going to put in a comma. So for this, I'm going to use the sum function and close the bracket. So inside the sum function, 
for the number one argument, I'm going to call the choose cause a base function that returns columns from an array or reference. So press the tab key. So for the array, I want to actually choose the sixth column, the sales amount column from this A variable name. So I'm going to type in A as the array, put in the comma. And then for the call number arguments, I want to point to the sixth column, the sales. So I'm just going to type in six and then close the bracket. And then we have the equal number of brackets. Now, before I press enter, I'm going to come here, alt enter to make it easier to read. And let's also indent this code, alt enter. Now, this is the moment of truth. So I can press control enter. Bam. When I go down at the bottom, amazing. So we have the 1,108,842. Now let's check it out. I'm going to come here and press control of arrow key. So in the status bar, we have the same value. So when I scroll down, so we can see we have the same value here. So this is how we can use the amazing light filter V star H star functions in a single cell array operations to perform filter a pain and at the same time some odd values. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, comment, and watch out for more videos. Thank you. Bye for now.